God, I'm just coming home from work. And I gotta say this before I sit down and eat lunch, which is very weird because it's seven o'clock at night. But I love my life, I love my life, I love my life. I told you that my staff hates when I leave the building because I'm gonna embarrass them. Well, I had to go over to the bank this afternoon and the bank is in Stop and Shop. And I'm sitting there doing a couple things with accounts and they mentioned that normally I have somebody else sign things in case something happens to me. And it's usually my son, Michael. And Michael's so busy, I'm sure he's not gonna get there. But while I'm sitting there and I've got a Santa hat on, I already stand out enough. All of a sudden I see Michael in the checkout line and he doesn't even live near there, but he's in the self-serve line. And I remember that he was saying he's gonna be working in the area. So I get up with my Santa hat and my dress like this and I went out and he said, Michael! And he doesn't even look up and I'm, you know, 30 feet away. So I walk closer, Michael! Nothing, I get nothing. So now the mother voice is gonna come out because he's ignoring me. And I get right up close and I look and he's still looking down putting his groceries and I went, Michael! <laughs> and he looked up and it wasn't Michael. And everybody's looking at me, and the poor man. And I just said, no wonder you didn't answer. You're not Michael. Merry Christmas. And I walked back into the manager's office like, oh, it's fine. I, this guy felt so badly that after he finished doing his self-checkout, he came in and patted me on the shoulder to say Merry Christmas. Sure, it's okay. So I go back to the salon and I'm telling them and we're all laughing, it's funny somewhat and I get on the phone directly after this because I have to make an appointment to have my car get its sticker before the end of the month and I'm on the phone and I'm looking at my salon coordinator and she is decked out in these huge Christmas antlers I mean they're you know a foot off your head with balls hanging off them and I'm just laughing to myself get the woman on the phone and she's trying to schedule my appointment so I can hear her she's not I'm not on hold and while I'm just sitting there, I said to Brie, I absolutely love those antlers. And there was a gasp on the phone and the woman said, how do you know I have antlers on? Oh, I fell apart. The poor woman, she's having a nervous breakdown because she thinks I can see her through the phone and she's got antlers on. And she said, I'm 70 years old. You can't do that to me. What are the chances? In my life, extreme, 100%. So I'm just gonna sit and giggle the rest of the evening. Um, enjoy your night. Please subscribe. You know, subscribing doesn't cost you anything. And folks, this is my only retirement plan. Subscribe and share and um, have a good evening. I'll see you on the next one.